Banner Children's, we've got pediatric care covered for Arizona families. Pull it out, let's show him. What kind of stuff can you eat? What are these things? It's usually after, one, after an exposure, then they come to us and say, hey, we ate this and this is what happened. What's that? Yeah. What are these? What's he in He never here? liked them, and so he would refuse it. It was always in our house. My son and I always ate peanut butter almost every day, and my oldest son, Jake. And, um, but Cole always refused. He would refuse candy. He would refuse every, anything that had a peanut that smelled like a peanut. He would refuse it. He said he didn't like them. Scooby-Doo. Usually when a mom or someone, un unsuspectingly, they'll eat something, and they'll break out in a rash. They'll have problems. They'll start vomiting. They'll have diarrhea. And the kid that's the most common presentation is just um, is skin symptoms with some GI, GI symptoms. You can even get wheezing. You can get swelling. These are all common symptoms. We went to stay with some friends this summer, and he was doing this coughing at night, a lot of coughing at night. And she said, that's not normal. So we, we pretty much decided to go see a specialist. All allergies, including asthma, environmental allergies, and food allergies are all increasing um, pretty significantly, and no one's really certain why. A few theories are well, the most prominent now is what we call the hygiene hypothesis. And essentially they're saying that Western uh, societies are essentially too clean. And there is, so your body, instead of fighting off infections like they were 50 to 100 years ago, they're now fighting off things that used to be considered benign. My thought process initially was really intimidated. I was very intimidated. Um, I'm a teacher, so I see this allergy all the time. So, and I know I have two friends who have severe peanut allergies in their family, so I have a lot of resources, but my initial reaction was, let's just start from the basics. Banner, with their kind of wide uh, range of, and, and wide reach throughout the, throughout the area, uh, is very important for education and to make parents aware of what can happen if there is, um, if kids accidentally ingest foods or for their first time if they have a reaction. Um, Plus, in addition to that, um, you know, Banner through their network of hospitals is also important for treating these symptoms. Blue, green, orange, red, and yellow. He wears an allergy bracelet, and um, he wears it all the time. He's really good about it. We got one that changes colors, so he really likes it at this point. I'm sure it'll change as he gets bigger, but, um, and whenever anyone goes to give him food, we're trying to teach him not to take food from anybody or to ask if it is peanut, tree nut free. We, we just keep going, we keep trucking, but we're just trying to make little accommodations.